Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, start. Oh. Okay, we start. We started. So it's recorded now. It's recording. Okay, good. E, yeah. So yeah, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, it's already two minutes uh, past two. So um, we start our seminar. Our speaker today is uh, Dr. Shao Bo Chen uh, from uh, Bioveritas. Uh, it's a company in Paris, so the Shaobo uh, will start with presenting uh, himself and uh, his contribution, including mathematical contribution, to this uh, company. And uh, then uh, uh, he'll start his presentation, which is about gain function uh, uh, for the ship in waves. Okay, so okay. it's yours. Thank Everything. you, Sasha. Yep. I'm going to share the screen. Can you see my screen? Hello. Hello. I oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, Shaobo, sorry. Uh, just make full screen. Okay. Yes. Now it's okay. Now, yes, perfect. Now, perfect. Okay, my, I can start. My yeah. name is yeah. Sean Bo uh, Chen. Uh, please, uh, please for, uh, for all participants, please uh, unmute your microphones. Or oh, no, mute your microphones. <laughs> right? So the, if not, then I will do that. Okay. So <laughs> the, and uh, also your videos. So everything uh, will be presented and uh, explained by uh, our speaker only. Right? So the, uh, shall we please start? Okay, thank you, Sasha for inviting me for this uh, famous seminar since already uh, some time. I have been in this seminar sometimes. I enjoy that. So uh, I'm coming from Biovitas. In fact, I'm original Chinese, as you can see from my face. I came to France in 84, some 30, 38 years ago. No, yes. Uh, so for PhD study, after my engineer diploma in uh, Tsinghua University in Beijing. So four years study in uh, saint Ardant. Uh, I remember my famous classmate, Yu Ma Hiskola. Uh, we have studied together on hydrodynamics. So after four years of study, I went to Paris, exactly Rue Malmaison, to join the team of Professor Molan. I spent two years with him for postdoctor fellowship. And then in 91, I joined Biovitas. Uh, still, I'm still there in the research department, so I continue. Uh, to do the uh, research work on hydrodynamics, in particularly on Biovitas software Hydrostar. Uh, it was one uh, software partially created when I was in Nantes and then largely improved in Biovitas. So uh, Hydrostar was for the more for offshore hydrodynamics. And uh, in Biovitas, we are also interested in ship motions. So that's why since um, not the beginning, since most time of my career in Biovitas, I'm interested very much in ship motion problems. In this problem, I learned from a lot of uh, previous uh, studies uh, I will show you some of them uh, in my uh, presentations. So let's, uh, and also uh, I'm so sorry for my shaky English. Please beg with me. Uh, and uh, if you have any critical questions or comments, please stop me during my presentation, which normally I should finish in 15 minutes. So the problem today we consider is a ship. 
ship can go in the seaway that can be under action of ambient waves. Our ship can generate the waves as well by at forward speed, of course, and also by at oscillations. So this problem is traditionally uh, studied in the uh, relative uh, reference system, relative, that means a reference system goes straight with uh, the ship. So that's the problem we are looking for. I have an outline here. I like to start with some introduction very fast and then about this special case of ship motion green function, um, uh, including some uh, work I did in cooperation with Francis Nobles and other people in BV and outside BV like uh, JX Wu. Uh, and recently uh, in Bioveitas, we have worked on the new formulation of this ship motion Green's function by introduction of uh, viscose effect. And recently, with my colleague Choi, we are successful to implement this new green function in uh, the so, uh, in the solution of boundary integral equation to get preliminary results very very encouraging. Uh, let's start line for the introduction. I like to, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are working in a relative reference system. So if we define the absolute system, that means uh, all fixed with capital X, Y, Z, and the T, T is time, and also relative, uh, I call it a straightforward system because ship can have oscillation. Uh, this wave system is only uh, with uh, forward speed, that's all. So that is uh, lowercase x, y, z, and t. The relation between both wave systems is very simple. Our identity are, are variable are identical except the x coordinate in the absolute system is equal to that in the relative system plus ut. Here we are suppose u is constant. So also the spatial derivatives of the unknown in our case for the velocity potential is identical between two wave systems. So the only coordinate system, only the difference is x coordinate, they are different. Due to this difference, seems very simple. So we have a very famous uh, relation. That means the derivatives with respect to the absolute t equal to that with respect to the time in the relative system minus u and derivative with respect to x. That is very known. What I like to mention that due to this small difference, if we are working on the waves, so we have wave number and a frequency. In the relative system, we have lowercase k omega. In the absolute system, we have capital K and the capital omega. There is a relation between both. We call that is the encounter frequency relation. What I like to summarize that, that means for one frequency in the absolute system, you can have different um, wave number in the different direction due to the not zero u, if u is not zero. Uh, I like to say, if the u is zero, if you have one frequency, you have only one wave system. If you have u is not zero, you have, in principle, an infinite wave system because the wave number is continuously uh, varying from a k zero to infinity. That's the case. So we regroup this wave system into ring waves, 
V-waves, even we have fan waves. That's complicated, that's start to complicate something. So uh, that's the problem. Uh, of course, we are working within uh, the potential theory uh, in which we have a velocity potential. This velocity potential satisfy Laplacian in the domain and oh, special boundary condition. In fact, two boundary condition on the free surface. One is kinematic, second is dynamic. Also, we like to linearize this problem. Laplace is linear. The problem is on the boundary on the free surface. That's oh, non-linear boundary condition. We like to linearize that. In the linear, linearization process, there is ambiguity. What's the base flow? So in the Neumann Kelvin approach, we suppose the uniform flow is the best flow. Upon this uniform flow, we linearize the boundary condition on the free surface. And more and more now, we think we should apply, adopt another base flow, such like double body flow, I call ship shaped stream. Over this ship shaped stream, uh, it is more physical and our unsteady, our steady wave potential can be uh, linearized. To be uh, simple, this is the boundary condition on the free surface. Uh, with the C is what we are looking for, time harmonic potential flow. W is the base flow. So you can see that's linear with respect to the Psi. However, with many, many terms, depending on the W. Of course, if W is reduced to the uniform flow, like W equal to UX, so the, this condition is simplified. That is usually what we use. However, more and more people use this new type of boundary condition on that. In this potential boundary volume problem, we apply in classical way, the green theory, we think this uh, application, we can write the unknown potential in the fluid by the integral on the boundary, including hole and free surface. If we choose the field point on the ship hole, we have so-called boundary integral equation, which with P apply on the hole, if the classical Norman Kelvin approach is adopted, we have only one integral equation on the ship hole, H. However, we include one waterline integral. Waterline is the intersection between the ship hole and the free surface. If adopt the double body flow as base flow and boundary integral equation is written not only on the ship hole, but also on the free surface. Of course, this free surface integral is significant only in the area or in the zone close to the hole, because at some distance from the hole, the coefficient terms dependent on the double body flow disappear or negligible. So what I like to introduce is in this business to solve that, we need to evaluate our formulate correctly the green function. So the green function is the critical element of our solution. Classically, this green function is expressed by double Fourier uh, integral coming from the Fourier transform of at boundary condition on the free surface. If viscosity is inerate, we have in the integrand function, or D, that is called the dispersion function, which is a quadratic function of wave number. So the, this equation gives us two wave number 
in the Fourier plan, two wave number depends on the theta, it means two group of curves. So the relation between dispersion relation and time harmonic ship waves. You can see this is a picture of the ship wave in one book, and also you can find a similar uh, waves uh, in the internet. Many studies have been performed to analyze these ship waves. All of them are very beautiful and critical in understanding ship waves. Recently, we have done some analysis of that and find very close relationship between the dispersion relation defined in the Fourier plan and uh, free surface ship waves. The potential generated by a translating and building source can be expressed by double Fourier integral. In the integrand function, you have Fourier exponent, nominator, and denominator. The denominator, denominator function can be expressed by a real part and the imaginary part associated with a small real parameters. This double integral can be performed by asymptotic analysis for the denominator equal to zero, and this gives us a single integral along the dispersion curve at which the denominator equal to zero. That is, the far field wave component is only expressed by a single integral. That is also the geometry of the, this dispersion curve would be uh, in relation with the behavior of the waves. In our case, our dispersion curve is a quadratic function of wave number and it has a two group of roots. One is open dispersion curve on the right plus open dispersion on the left and the second group is a closed dispersion curve in the middle. For example, look at the right open dispersion curve on the right plane of this figure and the crest line of the ship waves on the left part of the figure. Along this dispersion curve in the Fourier plan, the, we discover the normal direction is in parallel with the group velocity of the waves. If there is an inflection point along this dispersion curve, that means there is a largest angle between normal direction and alpha axis. In the physical plane, this means there is a largest openness of the wave, i.e. the cusp. So the cusp line is in parallel with the normal direction of the inflection point. Between two inflection points, because this uh, curve is symmetric with respect to beta equal to zero, uh, symmetrically, the, <clears throat> the, this part of dispersion curve is associated with transverse waves in the physical plane. The other part, the open part of dispersion curve from inflection point to the infinity is associated with uh, divergent waves. <clears throat> this uh, is a picture of the closed dispersion curve on the upper uh, figure and ring waves on the lower uh, figures. On the left side, the open dispersion curve is associated with another transverse wave and divergent waves. More complex, if you have this type of dispersion curve, you will have the partial ring waves associated with limited part of dispersion curve and <clears throat> 
infinite uh, length of this pain curve associated with fun waves. Here is a video of numerical computation. If you have a source, go from left to the right and oscillating. If the fourth speed is small, you will find this type of ring waves. On the upper strand, you have shorter wavelengths. On the lower or downstream, you have longer wave. If we have a cut in the middle of these ring waves, you can see the upstream wave and downstream wave and the local component and the total of that. In addition to the ring waves, you have two V waves. Unlike the steady flow, you have only one here for the time harmonic ship waves. You have two V waves. We call that the inner V waves and outer V waves. What is interesting is uh, the direction of the fast velocity is have a component go downstream for the inner V waves. However, for the Outer waves, you have a component of fast velocity going in the direction of upstream. If we have a cut of that, we will we see clearly on the top the inner waves go in the downstream direction, and the second line is outer waves go in the direction of upstream but stopped. At the position of the source. If we addition both, you will find uh, on the red line the animation of profile of free surface, which is quite a mixture. Thanks to this detail analysis, we can analytically give the cusp angles of different wave waves like inner wave waves, outer wave waves, in addition, the ring fan waves, in particularly for tau equal to square root of 2 over 27, you will have all waves limited strictly on downstream. So uh, this tau is approximately equal to 0 0.27 instead of 0.25 usually applied. Also, uh, the detail analysis on the divergent waves, we can express analytically the, <coughs> the behavior of uh, potential when y represents the distance of field point uh, and the source track. When y tends to zero, you can see that is highly oscillation and also singular. That is the case uh, here. If we have a cut downstream, you can see close to the source track, the waves oscillate faster and faster and also uh, singular. This is one of issues of that. For this classical green function, uh, it covers uh, two particular cases. For the when we talk about the translating bilirating, there is of course include when translating velocity is zero, so you have often called that is offshore our zero speed green function. This green function is the simplest. Uh, Green's function that is written by simple wave number integral. A lot of people have worked, in particular, uh, Nobles and Newman did a lot of work, and many other people as well. Uh, recently, uh, yeah, Dr. Xie summarized in his PhD there are more than 20 formulations to explicit this particular case of. Uh, Green's function. And also this Green function is quite popular and 
uh, applied in many softwares, including BV in-house software Hydrostar. This uh, is the simplest case of uh, there is only ring waves. In fact, is uh, circular ring waves. Another special case is when the polarization of frequency equal to zero, but with the forward speed not zero, and this integral is written originally by the double Fourier integral, as I started at the beginning, and many people, but less than zero speed case, uh, worked on this, try to explicit this double integral by a single integral form, as summarized very well in Nobles 81's work, there are, he summarized the three formulations. In fact, I can summarize there is a five uh, existing formulation to explicit this double integral. First is very popular, Havelock's type. If we perform this integral, alpha, beta, our k theta, if we do the k theta integral first, the remaining integral is theta, so the k integral can be expressed by the special function. That is Havelock type. This one it will be used in the general case. You have so-called Peters type. He did to integrate in the alpha first and analytically, and the remaining integral is on the beta. Also, you have Michel type to do it. Other way to integrate beta first, the remaining, remaining single integral in alpha. There is some few, only few study we call it Smahandin's type. They do the theta integral of this one first, and the remaining is on the k integral. That's very interesting. And BV with my colleague uh, Dr. Ten, uh, he did also for the general case of that. There is very famous and also quite popular is a Japanese Besho, Professor Besho's type. He did the first uh, change of variable u equal equal to amplitude defined by the beta equal to alpha sinus h u. So to do the u integral first and the remaining integral is all he called the, is a complex polar angle integral. That's very interesting also because uh, the integrand function is expressed by the very ordinary functions. So if we say uh, this particular case has been studied uh, by many um, uh, others and have more or less successful uh, approximations, however, for the general case, uh, only few study have been done. In particular, uh, general case, including the ring waves, including the V waves. In addition, there is some particular new web system like a partial ring, partial, v, a partial fan, and ring fan waves. And also, we have this particular behavior of the green function. For me, we consider that is not very useful in the boundary integral equations because that is a very high oscillation and singular. And also, in this general case, only a few people have worked on that. I summarized uh, in one slide, maybe we skip that, but it's uh, too in detail. Uh, what I like to stress down is this classical Green's function for ship motion have this particular behavior. This property, that means on the free surface, when the field point close to the track of the, of the source, you have this behavior, integration of this is impossible, or nightmare to do that. So that's why uh, we have done many uh, reflection and uh, work. Uh, one is uh, the work with uh, Diaz, uh, he called a uh, viscopotential flow based on the 
uh, Navier-Stokes equation, we linearize that and uh, we decompose the total flow into a potential irrotation part and uh, another rotation part. We are successful to express the fluid viscosity effect on the potential. In fact, uh, the boundary condition, including kinematic and dynamic, we can include uh, or epsilon. Epsilon is depends on the true fluid velos uh, viscosity. If we combine that, we have this additional term depending on the epsilon. Epsilon is viscosity. So with uh, potential derivatives with respect to double Z and T. So with that, we can use this to uh, study the green function. That is what uh, we have done. We have modified the boundary condition on the free surface for this green function by including this viscous term. Including of this viscous term change uh, the dispersion relation. And the dispersion equation now is become cubic of wave number. So we have three roots instead of two. And also, all three roots are complex. In particularly, the imaginary part is proportional, of course, on the epsilon, and also proportional to the real part of the wave number. That means when you have high oscillation, the wave number is big. However, the imaginary part is also big. That means the high oscillation of the ship waves are largely or heavily damped. That is the case here. I just uh, firstly to show you how to uh, solve this uh, cubic equation that is uh, classical, nothing new. We just use um, uh, very famous uh, Cardano's uh, formula to solve that. What is uh, complex is you have three solution of wave numbers. You have three wave numbers. Depends on the polar angle theta. How to class this three wave number depending on the theta? They are continuously cross the theta. So the solution by the formula of Carnado only give you three number, three solution. But you have to regroup them in the good order. That was uh, quite uh, difficult, but uh, we solved that. So we now we can uh, have a solution of this dispersion equation. Uh, three wave numbers continuously varying in theta. Uh, we can show you the variation of that. What's K1 is associated with ring waves, which is limited, real part and imaginary part. The K2 and K3, K2 is quite classical, like, uh, like, open, like V waves, if you like. However, when the theta tends to pi over two, Instead, it tends to infinity, it tends to a finite volume. Here is uh, scanned with cosine theta, cosine squared theta, that's become zero. In fact, has proportional to the cosine theta. And the imaginary part is not zero, neither. K3 is new. What's important is K3 is they have a imaginary part uh, proportional to one over, one over epsilon. So that's a huge number. So also it is a huge wave number with imaginary huge. So that is uh, contribution is proportional to epsilon. That contribution is relatively uh, negligible. So this is the wave number. We are successful to do that. Associated with wave number, you have an amplitude function, depends on theta as well. Uh, what's the difference between the classical uh, grid function without uh, viscosity is one is on the famous critical frequency associated with tau equal to one quarter. Uh, you have a singularity, but with the viscosity, it seems singularity disappear. And also for the tau larger than uh, one quarter, 
the classical dispatching curve joined together with a touching point. However, with viscosity, you have two group of wave number curves. They don't cross in the complex space. Uh, they don't cross. Here is a project on the real Fourier plan. So that seems with viscosity, that's true also in facilitate very much our numerical evaluation. Here is an example. The green function can be expressed by the single integral in theta, in which the k, uh, smart k, represent the inner integral with respect to wave number k, we call that is Havelock's type. And also this uh, smart k can be expressed by the special function, uh, which is Alanit Kano in that. So with that, so here is an example of that. Instead of to have a high oscillation and singularity, so with viscosity, uh, they are just disappear. And also with uh, analytical asymptotic analysis by Liang Hui, uh, also showing the red line, this red curve disappear, just disappear, become the blue. And also, uh, you can see with uh, uh, classical green function real part, imaginary part on the up and lower figures uh, for a source point very, very close to the free surface, you have highly oscillation uh, in the tungsten. However, with viscosity 10 minus 5, 10 minus 4, you can see it's very clean. The highly oscillation uh, disappears. And the, uh, that's the same uh, if you vary this epsilon uh, from 10 minus 5 to 10 minus 3, you can see the variation of the uh, ship waves. Uh, green function is important. However, in our server, our, our boundary integral equation, we need the integration of this green function on ship hole and over free surface. So here is an example of integration of flat panel. If we represent the ship hole or free surface by or some of the discretized flat panels. This was very interesting is this type of green function can be evaluated in such a way that the integration is analytically expressed. That means the integration on a source panel with risk to the field point is analytically expressed. And furthermore, if we like to use the Galliakin scheme, we need to integrate on the field panel as well. Again, we developed the analytical formulation of the green function uh, on field point. So here is an example of integration on the source panel only. We have uh, good uh, comparison with previous study in Nantes and also comparison, of course, with the ghost point uh, evaluation usually uh, applied. What's important is what's the effect of this epsilon? Epsilon, of course, depends on the viscosity defined by viscosity in the scaled uh, volume that depends on the fluid number and gravity G. So this epsilon depends on the velocity that can be different. So uh, what's the or what's the effect of that? Here we examined the integration of green function of source panel, which is evaluated by a single integral in theta, Fourier variable, and inside everything is analytical. So this integrand function is shown by the figure here with three epsilon from 10 minus three to 10 minus six, uh, six with 1000 times uh, smaller or 1,000 1, times larger, represented by the black, uh, red, and the blue lines. So we can see the integrand function is different. However, 
the integration of Green function is on the right side, which is computed for the different um, X uh, value on the panel at free surface, or that's a square panel. So we can see, regardless of the value of epsilon, the Green function in particular at the integration doesn't vary. Furthermore, we apply this green function now, which is nice. We can integrate it at variation of green function is uh, okay, is nice. We in incorporate it in our boundary integral equation on the whole, on the free surface. And also, we apply also uh, in the in, on the water plan inside the ship. This uh, additional integral equation is established uh, to avoid any irregular effect. As we know, in the, at zero speed, we have irregular frequency. At four speed, we, uh, we think we should have a similar uh, effect as well. So with this implementation, here is an example of application for wiggly four. Wiggly four uh, hole is a quite fat hole with lens equal to five times only of width. So we have three mesh with quadratic patch, and each patch is divided by nine flat planners. That's on the hole and on the free surface with different uh, consideration of that. And we uh, represented only uh, one of the results of that by the red line. Uh, and here there are four cur uh, three curves and model test by samples. Three curves, one curve is red. Red is our boundary integral, new boundary integral equation with viscous green function. Two blue line represented the classical boundary integral equation associated with uniform flow. Uh, one is with waterline integral, one is without waterline integral. So in for the heave, pitch, and the coupling heave and the pitch. So in our case, we have very good agreement with new method. With old method, there is large difference. So that is the major part of my presentation on our work uh, concerning Green's function uh, classically and the new one with viscosity effect. We are more confident uh, with viscosity, everything become nicer. And we are uh, our first test with boundary integral equation showing uh, that is quite a sign and we are optimistic to solve this problem by using free surface green function. Just like to, um, uh, to one slide about BV's continuous work, we have uh, Hydrostar, which treated a zero speed case, a lot of application on the offshore uh, uh, hydrodynamics that is partly uh, developed in Nantes and now in BV, BV that since. 31 years, and now we are working on the forward speed problem. We have established several constants in this new development. We are approaching a happy end to get uh, or see keeping code hydrostar V. V is forward speed in French, V des uh, a new code or new version of hydrostar to treat the C keeping with the forward speed. So uh, Sasha asked me to show, to as to wow two slides about potential uh, extension of actual work. Uh, as I told him, there are many many options. In my mind, I think immediately uh, we like to treat uh, the sea keeping problem in the finite water depths. What I have presented to you today is deep water green function. With uh, the inclusion of the C button, uh, the dispersion uh, relation is more complex. We have some mathematical uh, 
uh, tools to sort that. However, the critical problem is the same. That means if we don't use the viscosity, we will have highly oscillation and the singularity on the free surface. If we use that, we should have not have even with finite water depths. Another uh, extension is uh, quite a popular our very fashion uh, subject in our research community is ice cover. In particular, uh, the ship going in a water channel confined by ice covers on the both sides. Uh, there is uh, many uh, work done by Sasha and also by Chinese colleague as well. One of, I cited here, but uh, there are many other works as well. Um, he did a very interesting, they did a very interesting work. They used the same approach as I presented today by using Green's function approach to satisfy. That's interesting, is new, is they use Fourier transform in the Nongji along the channel direction and on the transverse y and on the z of course z is uh, easy to use eigen function expansion to do that and this idea can be applied for with forward speed they do for the zero speed i think they can do uh, we can do uh, contribute for the forward speed case and in this case we can evaluate wave resistance problem in the channel and also ship motion problem in the channel, including ship motions and added resistance, which can also be estimated. That's what uh, I or I like to show to you. Uh, thank you for your attention uh, and your any question comments are welcome. Thank you very much, Bo. Thank you. Um, uh, very good presentation. I like it. And uh, uh, for for uh, in time, so you was concerned about the 50 slides and 15 minutes. It, it works perfectly, uh, perfect. And um, um, uh, uh, any questions to Shaobo? Uh, please. Um, any questions? Yeah, Shimia, Shimia, please. Shimia. Uh, no, please. Uh, oh, yeah, please uh, unmute. Yeah, um, yeah. I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. now it's fine. Yeah. Good. Please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not very skilled with new technologies. <laughs> 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 okay. So, boy, yeah, we work together. Okay, but we yeah. do not see each other often due to this uh, virus. <laughs> So uh, yeah. I have one question. If you show, uh, can you show the results for uh, Wigley Hall? Yes. Okay. That should be here. Th this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this, mm -hmm. this one. So. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Ah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a. This looks really great uh, as a result, uh, and there are many things you improved with the new uh, yes. approach. And uh, one particular point I'm uh, wondering is the irregular frequency, irregular uh, wave number, as you say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the uh, it will be interesting to see how this. Uh, Problem of irregular wave number uh, influence the results here. So these results yes. are obtained obtained uh, by eliminating the irregular wave number problem. Yes, or his stick for the yes. red red line, but, but for yeah, the yeah, yeah, blue yeah. line, we didn't push the, uh, the 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 mesh inside the hole because in the old method we cannot do that. I see, but the new the new one, yes. New yes. one, if you include uh, or not the irregular frequency effect removal, what is the difference? It yes, oh, I didn't show in that. The ah. difference, the red line is more, is tendence to close to the blue line, blue solid line. I see. We, okay. we, we have, that is why we were surprised 
uh, to see steer the oscillation even with uh, double body. I see, I see, I see. Uh, so the, 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 this... in fact, the double body flow is important, but uh, not not so important for the I standard see. body. Yeah. I see. So that means that the irregular uh, wave number problem is a real, very important problem. I think I yeah, agree yeah. with you. I think for the any problem associated with boundary integral equation uh, by using or free uh, or free surface screen reflection satisfy some uh, boundary uh, condition on the free surface as it is, there should be this problem. I see. But, uh, but I have not mathematical proof. Mathematical proof yeah, yeah, yeah. is uh, confirmed only for the zero speed. But I with four speed, nobody did that. Okay, okay, okay. But anyway, but I, I think... guess there should be the same similar problem. Yes, yes that's yes. why I prefer, like you, call it the irregular wave number problem. That is yeah. not the irregular wave frequency. That's uh, because agree, of, but... yeah, that's a wave number problem because yeah. of space problem is not a think... temporal problem. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think it could be interesting to, uh, when you present these kind of results, to add one uh, curve, yes. which is the new, me new method, yeah. new method with without removal of irregular frequency. Yes. That will yes. be very uh, useful true, for true. people to. That's do, yeah. uh, that's uh, yes, yes. That's okay. uh, thank you for your suggestion very because uh, uh, Harry Binghan asked me yesterday the same question. Okay. I should okay. add it uh, in the reply or figures for that. I think uh, Choi will help me to <laughs> to have all these figures. Yeah. So in fact, that's very important to yeah yeah, yeah. okay okay okay. That's very important to know. Yeah yeah, that it is yes. that, because it's yeah a purely mathematical problem, but it uh, makes wrong. I have only one more question, if if I yes. can. Yeah, yeah yes yeah. please. Yeah yeah. Uh, it's about because. The, the Sorry? effect of viscosity, it, can you hear me? You can hear me? Mm, not clearly. Not ah, clear. Okay, sorry. Now it's okay? No? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, I did nothing, so it's okay. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's good when you did nothing and you got something, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's about viscosity. Let's see. For viscosity, when you introduce in the green function, it's like, uh, for me, looks like kind of filter. In some sense, yes. Kind of filter, kind of clever filter, I would say, which you can control. And uh, the, the, because the, uh, the viscosity is not uh, really um, uh, how to say the, the the it's 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 there to eliminate short waves. That's uh, the, the the effect of viscosity in the way you introduce it is uh, to eliminate the very short waves. I think I agree with you, but uh -huh. not fully. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes, the viscosity effect. One major effect is to remove the high oscillation, short waves. Mm -hmm. okay. But however, what's interesting, we discover introduction of viscosity effect change also dispersion relation, dispersion curves. I this see. change have incidence, good incidence, uh, to our wave waves, our green function. For example. How you call to one quarter? Yeah. Globally, that's no problem. Green yeah. function is singular. Also, always, uh, also the integral equation gives the finite solution. But this time, green function is not singular at all. So I see. you I have, see. A, we should have a good solution as well, yeah, without yeah, yeah. any manipulation of the boundary integral equation for that. So also, I think we have to work more to see. What changed in the wave pattern due to viscosity? But uh, we are not clear. But uh, we agree with you, Shimei. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. major effect for us, for the moment, is the removal of the short waves. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. Thanks. For... Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Shimei, for the question. Uh, we have a question from um, 
¿Qué, qué es Ilma? <laughs> ah, we cannot hear you. Okay, okay. could you? I'll meet. Will you hear me now? Uh, yes, 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 no. yes. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. The, the green function of an oscillating source is a very, very old problem, actually. Yes. And it started, it started not today. Mm -hmm. I think that the history goes back possibly 80 years ago, something like that. Uh, Haskind, the famous Haskind, was the first who derived uh, the green function. We call it green function. Actually, it is not a green function. It is a fundamental solution of the Laplace equation which takes into account the boundary condition on the free surface. Uh, but Haskind used the very old method uh, which was introduced by Rayleigh. It is a really dissipative force. Really dissipative forces were introduced not to eliminate short waves. It wasn't the idea and the numerical problems uh, they were not in the center of, of this problem, but to satisfy the so-called radiation condition. Yes. Removing to eliminate the so-called free waves, mm -hmm. which all, always can be added to the free surface. Mm -hmm. Now, the really dissipative forces, they play the same role, actually. It is sort of a phenomenological model, the same role as your viscosity, which is actually is not viscosity. Because this formulation is in inherently contradictive. In the potential formulation, people are trying to introduce uh, the real physical kinematic viscosity, <clears throat> and to play with it. It is as Sam said correctly, and it is a way to, to eliminate these uh, short waves. These short waves can be eliminated exactly by dissipative forces, really, in the same way, but do not play with something, you know, I would call it mathematical artifact, the viscosity which it produced here, which is not a viscosity. It is just a dissipative force which plays two roles. One of them is to eliminate the short way a purely computational result. And the other one, it is to eliminate the, uh, the so-called free ways and to provide a unique solution of the problem. Possibly I missed something, but they didn't hear uh, the, these words, radiation condition and uh, eliminating of uh, free waves, which is a fundamental indeed problem. Now concerning this uh, technical way to eliminate these short waves, what is actually is going here? You have short wave. These short waves appear not only in the problem of, uh, of, of a moving oscillating source. A moving oscillating source uh, contains two types of waves, as you noted uh, on, on, in one of your play slides, when the velocity of ship is zero, so you have uh, indeed an oscillating source. And uh, uh, zero, it is just a trans translated motion of the ship, which creates two types of wave system. One of them it is transverse and divergent. The divergent waves of a source, they are also very, very short and steep. Yes. And uh, they do not add something uh, essential in hydrodynamics. So when you say that uh, the viscosity change the dispersion relation. Actually, it's a mathematical artifact. It doesn't change the uh, dispersion relation with such small numbers. Uh, this result is ne negligible. And the same change in the dispersion relation you obtain with the old, very old problem with really dissipative forces. If you look on really dissipative forces, it exactly the same what you did with, uh, with this viscosity. So I possibly 
will be a little bit more <laughs> straight, yeah? But you just use a filter like a dissipative forces. You can introduce any other type which you call viscosity. It is artificial viscosity right in really dissipative forces. It doesn't exist in reality because actually the flow is turbulent and the viscosity is not viscosity. And the same result can be attained by the way by introducing uh, surface tension, which also uh, eliminate uh, the short uh, capillary waves of these lengths. And uh, there are other methods. For instance, uh, we know that turbulence, real turbulence in the wake of a ship, uh, also damp very short waves. There are a lot of works on this. View. So all this is some kind of, uh, indeed, an attempt to overcome a purely computational problem uh, to make the computation more uh, convenient and uh, to introduce here this play with words viscosity, uh, like a real viscosity, we change dispersion relation. The same is can be done with uh, really dissipative forces or other methods. By the way, possibly there are other method, numerical method to to work with highly oscillation function, but I don't go now in all this detail. So I like what you did, but uh, this generalization, like uh, you know, you open, you reveal story for using these uh, expressions, it is not exactly uh, the case. It is, yeah, it is a useful, uh, I, I would say, way to eliminate. Uh, like, you know, in uh, uh, many, many numerical methods, CFD method, and, uh, which is used for the direct solution of differential equations, now, yes, toxic equation. There is always uh, such a thing, uh, the uh, numerical damping, like artificial viscosity, because of final resolution. Of the of the problem, final resolution of the numerical scheme. So, and it is something you know usual, uh, and uh, this artificial damping can be a different, uh, say. Uh, KK, I suggest yes. uh, to give uh, Shaobo yes. a chance to respond. Yes, okay, thank you. It was a little bit uh, lengthy because the, the problem goes back to, to the long. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 thank you. Thank yeah. you very much for the comments. Yeah. Uh, I agree yeah. Yeah. many points of view, but many may, may still I have some other point. Of course, you are right. Traditionally, to remove the free waves, we introduce some type of dissipation, like Rayleigh's coefficient, or some ar artificial mathematical uh, epsilon. But uh, that epsilon is quite different from this one. First of all, this epsilon is really come from Navier-Stokes equation. That is partially physics. I don't think that is fully physics, at least partially physics in the sense that that's come from Navier's equation. The flow is linearized. That's not physical. And also we reject the rotational part. If we take into account the rotation part, if we take nonlinear nonlinearity, we should have the true viscosity. But we remove them. What's the remaining part is potential part. There is an interaction between rotational flow and the usual rotational flow through this viscosity. That is, if you say that is not physics, that is what we take into account. I think that is not fully unphysic. That is represent partially some physics. Mm -hmm. Second uh, is uh, the epsilon in Haskind or in Hene or in Natir. That is uh, infinitesimal. Uh, epsilon, 
independent of the wave numbers, except with sign. That can be on some left side or right side, you can change the sign of epsilon, that's all. But epsilon is tends to zero plus. So that is nothing with wave number. And uh, the true viscosity should depend on the wave number, as you mentioned, even introduction of the surface tension. That depends on wave number, you change the dispersion curve. Thirdly, come back to the surface tension. You are right, surface tension can remove some irregularity of highly oscillation, but unfortunately, surface tension created other highly oscillation as well. In particular, for surface tension, capillary mm. waves is very short waves and can go faster, faster than gravity waves. So you can have everywhere, if you have no viscosity in a capillary, you have everywhere capillary waves, which is not physical neither. Uh, anyway, uh, that's why I agree with you and uh, not fully. That's uh, like my answer to Shimei. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thank you for your valuable comments. Yeah, it's um, uh, thank you, Shao. But uh, it seems uh, we should uh, um, stop okay. um, uh, because these uh, people are leaving. Uh, the some of them expected uh, one hour, so they potentially have a uh, meeting at uh, uh, just now. So we have less uh, people, but uh, because they, we can record this meeting, uh, uh, this uh, presentation, so potentially uh, others could. Uh, uh, um, watch it uh, later. Yeah, more people are leaving. So uh, <laughs> you, they uh, can watch it later and uh, uh, follow the uh, interesting uh, and important discussion. The uh, 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 I would say that uh, uh, some people, uh, <laughs> not some, but just Alan Tazan, uh, could not join the session uh, because even he uh, tried several times. So he is uh, uh, sending his apologies to uh, the speaker. He, uh, so from that point of view, the recording is uh, okay. But uh, there is the uh, kind of to finalize and uh, but uh, the after uh, my uh, um, uh, last words, the uh, Shaobo could uh, say something else. Uh, uh, I understand that the, uh, the problem um, as it's uh, arised by uh, Gregory, it's a kind of, <laughs> in some sense, philosophical problem. Because if we uh, follow the uh, physical approach, then we should account everything, and then we cannot go. So <laughs> it's so complicated. So we just say no, we cannot do nothing. Okay. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> uh, and frequently it's happening. So if you want to do everything perfectly right. So there are no chance to do anything. <laughs> okay, not uh, not in all. I uh, also, uh, Alexander, can I ask something? In the book, uh, Wehausen, uh, possibly in the 80s, yeah, he wrote a book about wave resistance of a ship. It is only 100 pages or something like that, but it is a very useful book. In this book, there are possibly five or six uh, solution and derivation of green, of green function with viscosity uh, in, by introducing with this viscosity. It is not about oscillating uh, source, mm -hmm. it's about a stable source, but the idea actually the same. It is mm -hmm. uh, Navier Stokes equation. So, if you are looking mm -hmm. intently in this solution in this book of uh, the housing, actually. We get that uh, yeah. the same the dissipating forces. Yeah, yeah. I can send you. It is uh, in Russia. It was done by uh, school in Rostov and uh, in Japan uh, by Inui. Also, who introduced? Uh, he was the first to introduce the viscosity in the steady state problem. Actually, physical difference between oscillating source and steady state problem when we are talking about viscosity is actually not essential. That is my comment to, to your comment, Sasha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, uh, I should say that uh, uh, there is a saying that the devil's in the details, right? Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. as I understand, right. 
what the Shaobo did, it's uh, 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 everything is well fitted one to another. And uh, the slide uh, with the weekly form he showed, it's kind of proof of that. So this is the right direction and the right way to do this. There are many ways, but uh, he uh, selected and developed it uh, up to the software, the, uh, yeah, the way which is right. <laughs> I don't object. It is yeah. just a historical comment. Yeah, yeah. So, so the uh, Shaobo uh, to kind of to close the seminar. Would yeah, you say something? I I like to thank Sasha, thank Shimei, thank Gregory for all your comments and discussions. I enjoy. Thank you all. Yes. Yeah. Thank Very you, Shaobo. So, uh, uh, yeah. Then uh, we. Yeah, we stop recording.